Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be disassembling this Asus laptop and try to cannibalize what is usable part and I'll be listing it on eBay. All right, so the first thing I like to do is identify the model so that you guys can follow along. This is Asus model Q502L. Okay, that is the model of this laptop. So during the disassemble, you, you may be able to learn or get to watch on how to maybe upgrade um, certain parts that you're looking for in this video, maybe like upgrading the RAM, hard drive. If you're looking to replace the keyboard, maybe this video might be helpful for you or replacing the screen. All right, so I'm not gonna cut them in session. I'm just gonna film the whole teardown. Hopefully you can fast forward and pick what you want to watch um, to help your own repair. All right, the first thing I like to do is to get a uh, Phillips screwdriver. This is the PH1. Let's go ahead and remove the screws. There are four screws on the top, four screws at the bottom, and two screws on the side. It seems like all the screws are the same size, so it is okay if you mix match the screws. Alright, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and pry open the back cover. I'll be using a metal prying tool, trying to find the weak spot. Usually I like to start it from the corner and then just pry it open entirely for the back cover. Once the back cover is re removed, uh, technically you can see the internal part of your laptop. This little black shape, L shape looking thing is the battery. So we need to disconnect this connector first. Uh, simply by just lifting it up. I'll be using a plastic prying tool, tug it underneath and just kind of lift it up. So the connector, press down to install, to remove, lift it up. Go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver. You're removing the screws. three screws and you remove the entire battery. For those of you who want to find a battery replacement, go ahead and look up for this model, B41N1341. B41N1341, that is the SS replacement battery for this model. Now here's the RAM. As you can see that the RAM has this little um, tape that's taping it down. You can remove it. To upgrade the RAM, you can simply just by pushing the two sides of it and the RAM will pop at 45 degree angle and slide it down towards your body. Here, probably run on DDR3 RAM. It doesn't label anything, but I guess the width of this is probably a DDR3. Here comes the hard drive. For those of you who wants to upgrade your hard drive, remove four screws once you have done that process slide the hard drive to your left and that's how you remove the hard drive so the hard drive you can replace with a solid state drive anything like this the 2.5 inch solid state drive you can install and replace it I'll be removing the CMOS battery. Now here is the speaker to disconnect, slide the connector to your left. 
and this speaker here runs on both left and right speaker so the connector connects and run through this wire at the bottom here and goes to the other side of it let's go ahead and start removing the CPU fan you can slide the connector away from your body I like to use the push and pull method so I was pulling the same time using the plastic prying tool to push it away so the connector can easily be removed as you can see that the CPU fan wire is too tiny you do not want to put a lot of pressure by pulling it it might get snapped so use that push and pull method meaning that you're pulling the wire the same time you're pushing that connector away so once you have removed the three screws looks like the fan is not ready to come off because it's still connected to the CPU here so let's go ahead and remove this plastic cover and remove the heat sink at the same time So the heat sink pretty much you can pry it up a little bit because the thermal pads or the thermal paste is all dried up as you can see the thermal paste is all dried up making a very sticky connection to the CPU so you need to put a little pressure to pry it open once it's open the entire heat sink will just come right off okay let's put that on the side Now let's start peeling all this tape here. So we need to expose the connector and remove the motherboard. Here is a Wi-Fi. The right is the white, the left is the black. And just kind of peel backwards. Peel all this tape here. So I believe this connector is probably one of those um, for your webcam. The connector just kind of like Lego is snap onto to remove it you just gonna lift it straight up same for this one just lift it straight up okay so that goes your LCD screen the touch screen and the webcam and the uh, the Wi-Fi connector so I kind of push it backwards open up the clipper flip it open slide the cable to your right Open the clipper, this is the keyboard lighting. Open the clipper, this is probably the uh, touchpad. This is the keyboard, flip the clipper open, slide that flex cable down. This is probably the lighting. We might, we might need to remove this. This is your hard drive. The hard drive connector connects to it, so remove that the three screws so that is kind of like a Lego it snap onto the motherboard so just remove that the replacement part ID is probably right there you can follow along to find that replacement what I like to do now is to remove the motherboard but before I do that it looks like the hinge is holding down the motherboard so let's go ahead and remove the hinge there are three screws holding down the screen hinge on the left side so I'll remove that so I think what I can cannibalize in this Asus laptop is probably the screen and the keyboard um, I have a bad motherboard here so I'll be you know kind of recycle the the motherboard throw it away on the e-waste um, but probably the keyboard is still usable as well as the lcd screen so as you can see i'm kind of pushing it backwards pushing the hinge backwards uh, to give a room for me to remove the keyboard afterwards but first i need to remove the motherboard so i just unscrew one of that second one here and the third one on on the top 
once I've unscrewed three of that thing, the entire motherboard will just come right off. There goes the motherboard. All right, now I can slide a keyboard out. Just like that. So that is the full size keyboard. Now, as you can see, the keyboard is not replaceable. You can't just replace the key. You would have to replace the entire palm rest with the keyboard, like a full assembly, like so, uh, because the keyboard is, there's no screw that's holding down the keyboard, okay? The way the manufacturer made it is kind of glue them together. So here is the, uh, the keyboard Asus product number, okay? serial number and all that so you probably look it up here and again maybe on this one as well okay so that's the thing that you can i can cannibalize and put it up on ebay uh, same for the screen as you can see this is a touch screen the full assembly for asus laptop the entire touch screen has the uh, glass digitizer the lcd is all built in all part of one piece together so I recommend you not to just change the glass or the digitizer if you have it. You probably want to change the full assembly because it's not easy to replace the glass. All right, I hope this video is helpful. If you do find the video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. I really appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I always do this kind of repair tutorial on how to on the repair on all laptops. All the brands, Apple as well. So comment below if you have any question. Again, um, you can look it up on eBay for this use part. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.